Top 10 Secrets and Mysteries. Mysterious Creatures and Beings. Our planet is full of remote and mysterious places, many of which we haven't explored. This raises the question, are there places inhabited by strange creatures we never before believed existed? Here are 10 creatures we may be sharing the Earth with. Perhaps we just haven't discovered them yet, or maybe we don't want to. Chupacabra. It's 1995 and the island of Puerto Rico has been hit by a devastating hurricane. The worst affected areas lie around the city of Canovas. However, its inhabitants are unaware that there's another threat lying in wait, an unknown creature that appeared after the hurricane and killed a number of farm animals. But it didn't just kill them, it sucked all the blood from their bodies. Let me show you. I live right across this little valley. At three in the morning, I hear something like, aoi, aoi, or something like that. At first, the chupacabra was only a local myth confined to Puerto Rico, but gradually it spread to Mexico and ultimately to the United States. According to some, it's a small, furry humanoid. While others claim to have seen a large, hairless animal with spikes on its back. Despite, or perhaps because of, these conflicting descriptions, the chupacabra has been spotted many times. In 2014, it was reportedly killed in Texas. In October 2015, its body was supposedly discovered in Paraguay. And at the beginning of 2016, yet another was allegedly caught in the Philippines. While skeptics argue that the Philippine story was a hoax, locals say the creature was captured alive and taken away by soldiers. So what is the truth behind the chupacabra? One theory proposes that it is the result of a military experiment that was carried out at a US base located in the jungle of Puerto Rico. Could this creature have escaped from the base during the hurricane? Journalist Benjamin Radford believes that the vast majority of witnesses are either lying or are mistaken and have seen only a sick animal. Is this the answer to the riddle of the chupacabra? Or does this creature really exist somewhere? The Loch Ness Monster. Proving the existence of the Loch Ness Monster has been no easy task. Although there are many indications that there really is something unusually large living in the Scottish lake, there is still no hard evidence of its existence. Eyewitness reports date right back to the 6th century. In 565, an unknown Pict warrior was attacked by a creature in the River Ness, which flows out of the lake. Modern sightings began in the 1870s and continue to this day. In 1933, the Scottish hotel manager, Aldi Mackay, reported that while driving around the lake, she saw a whale-like monster. The publication of her account brought with it a flood of tourists and scholars who continue to investigate the mystery of what may live in those murky depths to this day. Gradually, photos began to appear. 
The most famous remains the photograph taken by surgeon Robert Wilson in 1934. If you look at the entire picture, it's obvious that it's a very tiny object. This we knew for years, but we didn't know what the tiny object was. British university technician Gordon Holmes released a video showing a strange shape moving on the surface of the water. Recently, computer experts examined this video recording and announced that it shows not a monster, but several giant eels. In recent years, the number of photos and videos of the Loch Ness Monster has declined. So, is the monster dead, or did it never exist? Thunderbird. Native Americans have always told stories about giant birds that terrorized entire villages during storms, carrying away children and killing warriors. They were so powerful that their wings made the sound of thunder. Representations of thunderbirds can be found at the top of many totems, and cryptozoologists say that belief in them is so strong it must have some foundation in fact. In 1890, a newspaper article was published about cowboys who shot a giant pterodactyl in the Arizona desert. More sightings have been reported throughout the 20th century, with occasional reports of attacks. In 1972, a girl was abducted from a farm in Rio Grande, supposedly by a thunderbird, and in 1977, in Lawndale, Illinois, a huge bird lifted a 10-year-old boy into the air. But what do these thunderbirds look like? While some speak of a feathered predator reminiscent of an eagle, others talk of a creature similar to a bat. Reports as to its size also vary. While some witnesses claim the thunderbird has a wingspan of up to 10 meters, others swear that it's less than five. Just as opinions vary on the Thunderbird's appearance, there are also conflicting theories about what gave rise to claims of the creature's existence. One theory says that these giant birds are only big eagles. Other hypotheses are bolder, from an ancient natural spirit to a pterodactyl. It seems that until the Thunderbird's origins can be agreed upon, we'll never be able to unravel the myth that surrounds it. Angels. Most mysterious creatures belong in the realm of cryptozoology, but this is not the case with angels. Mentions of angels can be found in the oldest religious texts. The Old Testament, for example, accepts their existence as a fact. As God's messengers, they also appear in the Jewish Torah and the Islamic Quran. Probably the best known image of an angel is a white, luminous being with magnificent wings. A survey by the research agency GFK in the United States found that 77% of American adults believe in angelic beings. Among those who claim to have had an angelic experience are the actor Denzel Washington and Senator Mark Kirk. Post Leonardo da Vinci, everybody was contemplating the possibility of how an angel can rise to the sky and how it can come down to earth. Many psychic and esoteric scholars from around the world believe that angels can heal us and help us overcome negative emotions and difficult situations. In one famous case, an American police officer saw a luminous being at the bedside of his dying mother. In another, a woman saw the beautiful glowing figure of a man with outstretched hands just before she was hit by a car. 
Against all the odds, she survived. In 2013, a Vatican priest put forward an interesting theory. According to him, angels are actually clusters of brightly shining light. And, the theory goes, there will soon be a great battle between light and darkness. The Yeti, or Bigfoot. The hunt for what is perhaps the most famous mythical creature has lasted for hundreds of years. Yeti, which means wild mountain animal in the language of the Sherpa people of the Himalayas, is a creature that's been seen in various forms around the world. Probably the most famous testimony was given in 1986 by the Italian mountaineer Reinhold Messner. While descending through a remote Himalayan gorge, he suddenly heard a strange noise and saw the black outline of a creature covered with thick hair. Messner froze in shock and the creature disappeared behind the snow-covered rocks. Did Messner encounter an extremely rare Tibetan bear or was it the Yeti? The number of sightings continues to grow. Not a month goes by without a new report of an encounter, or at least the discovery of strange tracks that do not belong to any known species. In October 2014, traveler Steve Berry photographed giant footprints, possibly belonging to the Yeti, on the slopes of Gangka Punsum, the highest mountain in the South Asian kingdom of Bhutan. The first footprint is a right footprint. It's really, really pristine. That's the one that uh, has sort of generated all the excitement. Reports of Bigfoot in the United States come mostly from Bluff Creek in California. This is also where the famous video of the creature was shot in 1967 by Roger Patterson and Robert Gimlin. In the US, the Bigfoot Research Organization has put a great deal of effort into finding the creature, but so far without success. For that reason, skeptics believe Bigfoot is no more than a myth. Are they right, or do these forests and mountains conceal an unknown creature? Werewolves. Tales about werewolves go back hundreds, even thousands of years. And they've not always been thought of simply as animals we've yet to discover. There has been speculation they might be mutated wolves, or sick or even cursed people. In the Middle Ages, belief in werewolves was widespread. In 1564, residents of the German town of Bedburg found several of their livestock mutilated. Then, children and young women began to disappear, and tales of a wolf-like beast that walked on its hind legs spread throughout the area. It was only tracked down 25 years later. But instead of an animal, the search party found a farmer named Peter Stump with a strip of wolf skin in his hands. Before his execution, he claimed to be a master of black magic, working in league with the devil. In 1603, Jean Grenier went on an eerily similar killing spree in Bordeaux. Some researchers believe that stories about werewolves originate from ancient legends that involved wolves being objects of worship. For example, the ancient Egyptian god of victory, Vepvovit, could change into a wolf. And the Chinese believed that solar eclipses were caused by a huge wolf that eats the sun. 
Finally, in Norse mythology, the god Odin was accompanied by two wolves. According to scientists, werewolves are just people who suffer from clinical lycanthropy. This disease is manifested by seizures and the person's belief that they are a wolf. Other symptoms include making strange noises, confused behavior, and fits of aggression. So are werewolves simply people suffering from this rare disease? If so, then how do we explain the numerous accounts of superhuman strength and physical transformation into wolves? Giant squid. Legends about a giant sea creature that attacks ships and drags their crew into the depths have long been shared among sailors. Some of them refer to the creature as the kraken, others simply as a giant squid. The first recorded description of the creature was given in the 18th century by the Danish bishop and researcher Erik von Toppiden. According to him, it was so large that it resembled a floating island and was able to drag massive warships to the bottom of the ocean. Pontopidon's experience was followed by many more observations of the creature. In around 1750, a young kraken was reportedly washed up on the coast near the Norwegian town of Alsterhalk. In 1855, a creature over 17 meters long and weighing over three tons was seen off the shores of New Zealand. One of the best known legends, dating from the 18th century, described a fight between a whale and a squid at least 20 meters long. But where could such a creature come from? And how could it remain hidden for so long? One theory is that the kraken comes from the ancient civilization of Atlantis and was used as a weapon, though experts on mysterious creatures do not lend much credence to this claim. Since its body is so big, people thought it must swim rather sluggishly. It has small bubbles of ammonia in its body. So people used to think it floated up through the water using those bubbles and was not very active. We have explored only a tiny portion of our oceans, so it's quite likely that any number of fascinating discoveries and aquatic creatures still await us. Could giant squids be among them? Vampires. Dracula, Buffy, True Blood, Twilight. Almost all of us are familiar with the idea of vampires. Even ancient pagans told stories about vampires. According to legend, they were accursed people or even demons who gained power by sucking human blood. Belief in vampires was so strong among some that they began to hunt them. Probably the most famous vampire hunter was an English reverend and cultist named Montague Summers. He wrote several books on supernatural beings and claimed to have killed a number of vampires himself. It's a common misconception that vampires originate from the Romanian province of Transylvania. In fact, the greatest number of these mysterious creatures have been reported in Serbia. It's there that we find the case of Sava Savanovic, a man accused of vampirism who lived in a mill on the river Rokocic. The most famous vampire, however, is certainly from Transylvania. Here, in the land of impenetrable forests and rugged mountains, ruled the prince Vlad III of the House of Dracula. The writer Bram Stoker 
depicted him as a bloodthirsty vampire in his famous novel. The truth is that Dracula was simply a cruel ruler, about whom peasants whispered all sorts of rumours, including that he drank human blood. Today, scientists believe that behind all these legends of vampires may be a medical condition known as porphyria, which makes a person unnaturally pale, vulnerable to sunlight, allergic to garlic, and sometimes causes facial disfigurement. Is the truth really that simple? Or is there something about these stories we've yet to understand? The Basilisk. In the past, the basilisk was called the king of snakes. Its hiss could be heard a mile away, and it could break rocks and burn grass to ashes with only its breath. In many cultures, the mythical basilisk was considered to be the most venomous creature in the world, and its gaze was said to have a hypnotic effect. Stories of the basilisk can be found in Greek mythology. Medieval records describe the basilisk as a reptile-bird hybrid, found primarily in the region of modern-day Libya and born from eggs laid by a cockerel. Many scholars, including the famous Austrian alchemist Paracelsus, believed it was possible to produce a basilisk by means of alchemy. Today, experts on mysteries agree that tales of a creature born from cockerel eggs are probably figments of people's imaginations. Cryptozoologist George Eberhardt, on the other hand, believes that behind the legends there may be a real animal, and points to a case from 1587 when two children were killed in an abandoned basement in Warsaw by a creature that was said to be the basilisk. Most often, the basilisk is said to be a snake, perhaps an unknown species of cobra that can spit venom at a distance. Another hypothesis says that behind all the myths are the largest known lizards, the Komodo dragons, who inject a powerful venom into their victims. In the Middle Ages, these and similar stories of extraordinary animals were brought back to Europe by sailors and traders. Could the King of Snakes still be hiding in a remote corner of our world? The Megalodon. The Megalodon lived several million years ago and is thought to have been up to 35 meters long. Paleontologists tell us that this giant shark died out about 1.6 million years ago. However, giant sharks are claimed to exist around the Hawaiian Islands, where they're called Nihua. According to cryptozoologist George Eberhardt, the Nihuo is over 10 meters long, with a short neck, a giant dorsal fin, and a whale-like tail. The existence of a giant shark is supported by several accounts. In 1967, off the coast of Cuba, a yacht and its crew went missing. It was later found with the remains of the body of its captain and with giant tooth marks on its hull. And in 1980, the crew of the Venezuelan ship Venus, while hunting whales, caught a glimpse of a giant shark. In January 2016, a creature resembling a shark over eight meters long was spotted near Adelaide in Australia. Swimmers saw it about 100 metres from the beach, which was immediately closed. 
a helicopter flew over the scene where the crew saw the terrifying creature with their own eyes. But eyewitness accounts are not the only evidence. Many researchers also point to the regularly occurring mutilated bodies of whales. Are they proof that in the depths of the ocean there lives a giant prehistoric predator? Mysterious creatures and beings. There are still places on Earth that haven't been explored or even touched by humans. And until they are, we can never truly know whether or not these mysterious creatures are fiction or fact.